Hey, it's me again, Dots, and welcome to the first episode of Zodiac Talks. Talk, talk, talk. talk, talk. talk, talk. Yes, that's right! <laughs> Actually, ito, totoo talaga to. Maraming nagtatanong sa akin about sa topic na to. So, naisipan kung gawa na lang siya ng content. So, I can share with you what I know. Meron tayong 12 zodiac signs. Nagsisimula yan sa Aries, which is represented by the Ram, Taurus by the Bull, Gemini by the Celestial Twins, Cancer by the Crab, Leo by the Lion, Virgo is represented by the Virgin, Libra is represented by the Scales, Scorpio is represented by for Scorpion, Sagittarius by Archer, Capricorn is represented by the Seagoat, Aquarius is represented by Water Bearer, and Pisces is represented by two fishes facing opposite directions. Most of the people are only aware of their sun signs. Although our sun signs describe our core identity, meron pa tayong tinatawag na moon signs which describe our inner self and rising sign which describes our external self or yun yung nakikita sa atin ng tao on the surface. So, kung napapansin nyo, kung minsan, parang hindi accurate yung nababasa natin. Tama. So, let's talk about compatibility. The easiest way to understand whether two people are compatible with each other is by knowing their elements. There are three zodiac signs per element. Um, to put it simply, kung pareho kayo ng element, compatible kayo. So, kung fire element ka, Compatible ka sa kapwa fire element. You are also compatible with an air element, but a relationship with a water sign would least likely work out. Hindi mo kayo nagtataka kung bakit nag-click ka agad si the Dairy Crown, si Anne, and Darna. Kasi nga, pareho silang fire element. And same goes with an earth sign who can easily get along with the water sign in contrast to a partnership with an air element which can be pretty challenging. Now let's have a closer look on the four elements. The first element is fire. We have Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Sila yung mga confident, creative, and charming ng zodiac. However, on their bad days, they have a tendency to become vain or selfish. If you want to attract a fire element, I suggest ask questions about them. Let them talk because they feel special kapag kinikilala mo sila. Next, we have the Earth element. We have Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Sila naman yung mga loyal, grounded, patient, and they're also very good at accumulating wealth. On bad days, may tendency sila maging stubborn and lazy at times. If you're interested with an Earth element, you can easily make them kilig by giving them good food and wine. Under the element of air naman, we have Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, and they are the thinkers of the Zodiac. They're highly rational, and they have terrific social skills. Yun nga lang, sila rin yung people mag-ghost sa'yo, at madali silang makamove on. At kung may type kang air element, you should be ready to have an intellectual discussion with them. And finally, for the water element, we have the Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. And they're the most emotional among the Zodiac. They're also highly intuitive, they're very deep, very imaginative, and they can be very loyal partners. Yun nga lang dahil sila ay very sensitive, they may easily get hurt and may take things too personally. So that's it for the first episode of Zodiac Talks. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you agree or disagree, just comment down below. If you have any suggestions, they're all very welcome. And watch out for my next video. Again, it's me, Dots. And I'll see you again in my next video.